Ah, what do we have here? The Rage. Oh my, someone's a bit of an edgy boy now, isn't he? Well, you go ahead and rage out all you want. Get your fill, because in just 47 hours, 47 minutes, and 47 seconds, 47's gonna see your rage and raise you the calm before the storm. Show me your rage! Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Omega with me, Black Deatha. Today, we have the brand new elusive target, number 15, the Rage. I'm not sure what it is he's so angry about, but maybe the briefing will shed some light on the subject. Good evening, 47. Your target is Sully the Crusher Bowden, a former middleweight champion. Known for his short temper and sudden bouts of rage, he has always been a ticking time bomb. Unpredictable and unruly in the ring, he finally crossed the line when he killed an opponent during a match. He showed no signs of remorse and was found guilty of first-degree manslaughter. However, he managed to flee the country and has since been on the run, making a living setting up illegal fight matches that are closer to death matches. Bowden has a lot of blood on his hands. The grieving family of the victim have reached out to us for closure. And after an extensive search, we've tracked him down in Chongqing. They want to have done to him what was done to their son. An eye for an eye, 47. Good luck. So, it seems our target today is one as Sully, the Crusher, Bowden. And as we've been shown, he seems to be a rather angry fellow. He's even gone and killed a guy. Of course, we can't let a thing like that stand, so we're gonna have to go ahead and kill him in turn. To make that happen, I've got a couple different methods for you today, starting with method number one. The only thing you'll really need for this run is to bring along some coins. Now, for those that don't know, elusive targets are a limited time available, one shot only mission type. Once you've killed your target, you are locked in and can no longer restart or replan. Also, if you happen to get yourself killed, this will result in mission failure and you will not be able to play again. But if you follow along with this video, you should have no problems whatsoever. Anyway, if you do happen to find this video helpful or enjoyable, please leave a like down below, and if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Good evening, 47. So, once we begin, we're gonna skip the intro and head straight down this alleyway directly behind us. Riling up his fight. Once we've reached the end, we'll head around to the right until we've reached this scaffolding, which, using this ladder on the side, we'll climb to the upper level. From here, hop through the window and immediately circle around these boxes, using them as cover from getting spotted. As we continue down the hall, we'll want to shift over to the left side. There's a guard back there who could spot us, but if we keep moving, we should be fine. Continuing now past this woman, hop over this railing, and we'll slide down this pipe. From here, we'll make our way over to these crates and grab the car battery that's just been left here. Now, hold a moment as the guard outside is going to turn and walk away. As he does so, we can hop out the window here and just slip around behind him. Once past the guard, just keep pressing forward until you've reached the top of the stairs. Careful not to move too far down the steps, as we can be spotted by the guys in the fenced off area. From around the midpoint here, we'll want to equip our coins, and we just want to toss one over this fence to land somewhere near that door over there. Now, with that guy distracted, grab the car battery and toss it to land in the puddle up ahead. Do be careful not to throw the battery too far, however, or it will alert one of the guards in the distance, causing him to come and investigate and then die, ruining the run. Anyway, with the battery in place, we can head right back up the stairs and run straight past these two oblivious guards. Now we're just going to go ahead and circle around the block until we've reached the entrance to the alley where we threw the battery. And all that's left to do now is just wait for the target to go for a nice stroll in the rain. It will take him a couple minutes, but he will head outside pretty soon. Okay, so here comes the target now. He tends to walk a couple of feet ahead of his guard, which means only he will get to experience this shocking finale. Target eliminated. Well done. Now find an exit. Your money is being transferred now. Beautiful. Like Diana said, the target's dead. So let's head for an exit. And so that's method number one, completed Silent Assassin suit only, with a time of 4 minutes and 13 seconds. I'd have to say this is the slightly quicker of the two methods, but both are quite simple and easy to pull off. For method number two, all we're going to need to bring along is some lethal poison. Good evening, 47. 
Now, as we start out, this is going to be very similar to method number one. We'll head down this alley once again. When we reach the scaffolding, climb up, head through the window, and make our way down the hall and around the corner. However, once we slide down the pipe, our path will start to diverge. We're going to head through this door and make our way down the stairs. Unfortunately, the target is always just arriving at this point, so we will need to wait until he leaves the area before we can proceed. That is Sully Bowden, a.k.a. The, the Crusher, oh, middleweight champion just... with, let's yeah. say, a taste for sweat and blood. Unfortunately, his personal guard really likes to stand right there, rooting our view of things, so we'll just back off a bit. I only like one song. Danny boy, so fucking fight like a man. Just after he's finished snorting a line is when he'll move from the area. So we're just gonna head back up the stairs and hide behind the crate with the battery for method number one. After he and his guard have passed by, we're gonna head back down the stairs and turn off the fuse box on the wall. Once the power is off, head to the bottom of the stairs and take cover against this piece of furniture and use the changed cover prompt to sneak across and hide behind this couch. So long as we move quickly here, the guard shouldn't see us. Now, just pause for a few moments to allow him to start walking away. Once he's started up the stairs, we can head around the couch and over to the table, where we'll lace the target's nose candy with a lethal dose of poison. As soon as this is done, don't hang around, as the other guy in this room could be turning around any moment now. Creep up the stairs and wait on the landing behind the guard, out of sight. After way longer than it should have taken him, this absolute genius will finally figure out how to turn the power back on and head back down the stairs. But because the target was just here, we'll have to wait a little bit for his loop to bring him back again. Fortunately, that only seems to take him a couple of minutes. Once the target has returned to the area, he will eventually decide it's time to partake in another round of illicit narcotics, which will ultimately, of course, kill him. Now, this is exactly why they tell you not to do drugs. There's always a risk. You can never truly know whether or not a world-class assassin has come along and poisoned your drugs. Anyway, with the target dead, we can now carefully retrace our steps out of the area and head towards an exit. Or alternatively, you could have just left the area once he poisoned his coke and just waited right at an exit. Either way, it's time to leave. And that's method number two, also completed, Silent Assassin suit only, with a time of 7 minutes and 26 seconds. Like I said, this run is a little longer, but it's pretty much risk free. Well, there you have it. That's been two simple and easy Silent Assassin suit only kills of elusive target number 15, The Rage. Killed once with a shocking battery, and again in what some might consider to be an overdose. Yeah, let's go with that. He overdosed. On poison. So hopefully you found these methods helpful, or maybe you just enjoyed the video. Either way, don't forget to leave a like down below as well as comment and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, do subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of any new videos in the future. Anyway, that's enough for now. This is Infinite Omega. I've been Black Deatha, and this was Elusive Target, number 15. Killed a couple of times. Thank you so much for watching everyone. You have yourselves an amazing day. Goodbye.